maybe. Um, somebody was telling me about that the other day. I don't know how to open a coin and I don't know, you know, anything about it, but um, it's possible I might. And if I do, uh, everyone in Dive who's been a Dive member, you guys would get coins as well. I would, I would just give them to you guys. Um, you know, some kind of airdrop or something, how I can distribute those. It'd be cool, right? To give you guys some red. And then when I'm popular in the future, maybe my coin would be popular in the future. All right, we're gonna look at Shiba. Ocean? Ocean is Monica's son. Why, is he here? Is he chatting? Oh my gosh. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, Ocean's favorite color is red. Ocean, good. Red, uh, Ocean, I got red everything. I, Man, I love red so much, I bleed red. I got red shirts, I got red hats. I got red glasses, I got red guitars, I got a red car. I, I, I even got red under uh, underwater underwater goggles. Underwater goggles, Mr. Mall, what are you thinking about? No, not red under, under, no, I just said underwater goggles. I don't know what you guys are thinking about. So you get your minds out of the gutter. Stop thinking about my underwears. <laughs> Why do you guys call them under ruse? Is this all just a ruse? Is that what you guys are doing? Um, uh, here we go with Shiba. We're almost, we're almost out of time. So we're going to go finish uh, quickly. Uh, so here's a bottle. Remember, it's curved. Very interesting. We curved the top. So we found the top here. Um, we were expecting to come down. We came down. This is an older chart, so we're going to see where we're at right now. I'm actually looking for this line to actually come as support sometime in the future. But if we get underneath here, we're coming down to the sword cut. So this is our last chart with Shiba um, on Monday. So let's look at where we're at with Shiba today. The same with all my research. All right. So let's go to the daily chart. Are we bearish or are we bullish on Shiba? We got some bearishes. Are we bearish? Bearish. Why are we bearish? Yeah. We're cutting through here. But but how bearish are we? In the grand scheme of things. Yeah. That's right. Uh at any rate, I will let you guys know uh prophetic for Shiba. I had a friend that call uh, that messaged me. He didn't call me up. He call, uh, messaged me, and he said that, "Hey, uh, I saw prophetically a vision of your chart, and I saw numbers on the chart, and um, and I saw uh, your or I saw numbers on this chart I was looking at, and it had your logo at the bottom." And he, uh, he said, "Do you have any uh, TA on this?" Now, TA means technical analysis. And I said, yeah, I do. And he, and he, I, I said, what did you get? He said, I got these numbers. And he gave me 00001109. And then he gave me 2050. Uh, something like 250. It was somewhere, somewhere, I'm oh, sorry. So this is, let's see where it says 2053. So I'm off by just like three from his numbers. Now he said, I don't know which hits first. And I said, I don't know which one hits first at the moment. We're still sitting in this territory here, just right here in the middle. But the closest is the sword cut. So if now we're closing below here, I might be bullish and looking to buy some Shiba once we hit the top part of this sword cut. Now, again, this is just prophetic. It's not saying it's going to hit, but this is what the Lord showed him, that this might be good prices for him uh, to guy. So if, he, if you're watching, uh, my friend, uh, God bless you. I always love your encouragement. And, uh, and uh, I'll probably send you this clip. I'll probably chop up this in different parts, but I bless you. Uh, but anyway, we're looking for some support right around here. Um, I would say the Shiba is going to round on the top of the sword cut rather than in the middle of the sword cut, but either are fine. Okay. I would hope to get some lower prices in the sword cut, um, but anything close to the sword cut, maybe pick up a bag of Shiba. So I'm going to pick up a bag. I already have some bag, but I'm probably going to add to my bag once we're here. And then I'm going to take some profit around 250. Okay. Where these are still rounding up. Okay. So. I might get out along that line, okay? Po po poss possibly, and he may just saw where price was at, and it may it may come down, it may kiss it. I don't know. I just what he saw, 
I saw that number. So maybe that's where price closes at, maybe where it hangs out at, maybe that's just the general area of where he saw, he saw a chart with my numbers. Um, but I would say that you may want to get in somewhere around these prices. Where did you get close? I always put orders in, like if there's a sell above here, I'll sell before. If there's a buy, I'll buy before. Sometimes if it's just a small amount of numbers, I won't squabble with it. I'll just still buy it. As long as we're close to my targets and exits, I'm fine. Um, but so, you know, if you guys are looking for some TA on Chiba, there you go. Okay. I did have another she TA on Bitcoin. You guys can ask me at the end. Same person, by the way. Very interesting. And he's been pretty good. He's been pretty good in private. They more intraday trade though. Him, him and his team, they more intraday trade. So they, they're, they're going to, but I have a way of intraday trading, but I haven't, I, I mentioned it a little bit, but I'm, I'm, I'm more uh, refining my intraday version. I haven't intraday traded uh, publicly for a, for a while. I just kind of do in private sometimes with a small, one of my wallets and one of my bags. But for the most part, um, I'm just giving you guys all the, what's really happening, not giving you, oh, today we're going up, we're going down today, we're going up, you know, because then I don't have time to post that for everybody and for, to keep up on all those maps. I got a bigger responsibility right now to all of you guys, um, to the community. Do we have any other questions? What's going on with Shiba? Any other questions about Shiba? Maybe that'll be a good a chance to make some money from here to here. So that's my trade with Shiba. Um, oh, I let me put that in there in the notes. Green. Okay, no other questions about Shiba, right? My team. Okay, so that's Shiba. Last two, last two guys. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're gonna do AMC and uh, welcome everybody who's joining me. If you guys are just joining me online, remember everything in this video is not financial investment or trading advice of any kind. Everything is just entertainment, educational, comedic purposes only. I will be posting the full video, but I also probably will chop this video up and put parts of it on YouTube um, publicly because people need to know this. And today's an all Patreon dive. So if you guys haven't joined a dive, it's $18 a month. Uh, $18 a month uh, for the whole month. And then you can participate after class, draw on my charts. But I do do a all Patreon, so everyone at last has a chance to me uh, message me. Even if you guys are just give $1 uh, a month, I appreciate you guys. And uh, thank you for um, doing that. I have all Patreon dive so that you guys have a chance to reach out to me during the month and, and ask me questions and talk to me if you needed to get a hold of me. 13 cents. Remember that, guys. We have prophetic 13 cents on there. <sighs> All right, you guys worked me today. I did a lot. Look, two hours and 30 minutes of charts. Boom, boom, take that. Take that, you red crayons. All right, guys, let's get into the fun part. Let's close our day with reading the Bible, okay? So I want you guys to turn your Bibles with me to the book of Luke chapter 27, and we're going to just finish our day reading the Word of God, and now we can take a break. So now you guys have all your questions answered for your markets, for the markets that are important to you guys. If you guys want and you guys, uh, you're like, you know, I didn't get the charts that, that, I, that, that, that I want. You guys can always be a member of Dive and then we'll cover it. I'll cover it. I'll make a map for you. I'll make a map for you. Just give me a weird crypto. Give me a weird stock. I don't care what you guys give me. All price works the same. So if you guys want to give me those cryptocurrencies or stocks or Forex or whatever you guys are looking at, um, I can teach you how to make maps. Also, we have tutorials throughout the month. A new month is beginning. I appreciate me and Melody. We both appreciate all of your guys' supports. Um, you know, it, it's 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 a wonderful thing. Uh, so um, I don't have to keep withdrawing my profits. I am actually able to continue to build up pretty good uh, my my accounts, and that's what I want to do. But uh, you guys are supporting me and Melody, so that's fantastic. And uh, so I thank you guys. Luke chapter seventeen. We're going to start at verse 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and he said, the kingdom of God comes not with observation. Neither shall they say, oh, lo, it's here or it's there because they're thinking so in a physical kingdom. That's what they're thinking just in a physical way. And he says, behold, the kingdom of God is within you there's a lot to take in that um but the kingdom is not is not just limited to a physical thing i won't say it's not a physical thing because everything in heaven is physical but it's also 
in a spiritual sense. Uh, the Bible tells us what is visible was made out of what was not visible. Or the unseen, the things that are seen were made out of what was unseen. And it is so with the kingdom of God. Yes, he has angels. Yes, they have swords. Yes, they have weapons. Yes, it is a, 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 a government. It's a kingdomship under a king that's sovereign. And there's rules that govern the land. And even some of those rules are on the earth. And, and, and if you understand what I'm talking about, you'll know. But yes, these it is a physical kingdom. But it's also not. It's a kingdom based on authority. And remember the Roman soldier in the Bible? The Roman soldier... Uh, the, uh, he, he, uh, he was asking uh, for his servant to be healed. And uh, Jesus is like, yeah, I'll go into your, your house. And he said, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't need to come in my house. Listen, I'm part of the Roman government. I have a, uh, he says, I have authority. I say to this servant, go and do this. And another servant, go and do that. And I say, this soldier, do this and do, do that. And then it gets done. All I have to do is say the word. You don't have to come into my house, Jesus. All you have to do is speak the word because I know how it works. I get it. I understand the program. You just say the word because you have authority. And this is the words he said. That, and I'm actually quoting. He says, I am a man under the, under authority. Therefore, I have authority. And then he said, I say to this one, do this and that. And it goes and gets done. So if you say the word. It will be so. And Jesus said, wow, I have not found such faith in all of Israel. I didn't find any such faith like this. This is awesome. This man understands how the kingdom of God works. See, God fills the, the, the word of God. Uh, I mean, there's, there's so much of the word of God that, that he's filled the Bible with. And there's their scriptures. And the Bible says that all scripture is God breathed and is for uh, approving and correcting uh, it's for, you know, those purposes. It's also living. The Bible tells us that the word of God is alive, sharper than any two-edged sword. It is very, it's it's a very powerful, it's living, it's God breathed. And that's the word that comes forth from the mouth. And there's a reason I'm saying this. Because the word of God is alive, and it's it just, it's something that's moving and breathing, and it comes out verbally when you speak it into existence. God said such things as, let there be light. When he spoke, light existed. When he said, let the sea appear, there was sea. He said, let the, oh, let the land appear. Okay, let us create man in our own image. And then poof, he blew. Out of the mouth of God, the Bible says that uh, the, Jesus said, man does not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of the living God. God has a mouth. He's not just unfolding abyss. He has an image. He looks, he has feet, hands, and we're created in that image. We, he has hands like us. We have hands. He has a head like us. We have heads. He has a mind. We have a mind. He has a heart. We have a heart. You know, he has lips. We have lips. And in the same manner, the kingdom of God is as such that is spoken authority. Okay? So I'm going to say that one more time. The kingdom of God is as such as spoken authority. That so Roman soldier who said that I am a man under authority of my government, of my kingdom, the Roman kingdom, okay, of Caesar's kingdom, I am part of that kingdom. And because I submit to that kingdom, I have authority within that kingdom. I can say and do and just know it gets done as if it's coming right from the king himself because I'm part of the kingdom system. Now, when God said this word, that the kingdom of God is within you, you also, being a part of the body of Christ and the kingdom of God, have the authority in you, that same authority to cast out devils, to lay your hands upon the sick, and see them uh, uh, see them recover, to, um, it's just to uh, recover in the sight of the blind, uh, to, uh, uh, to heal the sick, cast out demons, uh, to, if you take up anything harmful, it will not hurt you. Uh, you have the power inside of you. A lot of, and not just that, but the things you say, you now say them on behalf of the kingdom of God. Now, this is a serious thing because the Bible tells us that we will be judged for every idle word we say. That's what the Bible tells us. That we'll be judged for every idle word we say. God is looking 
for us to be careful with our words. And I'm not saying we, I'm always careful and I've messed up a lot. I'm not saying you can't joke or anything, but we do have to stay away from crude joking. I know, do know the Bible does say that. We also got to stay away from lying. Why? Why, do I, why am I saying this? Well, because when you're talking about a kingdom of authority, that as, as such as something that is spoken authority, if you believe your own words and you listen to your own words and you are a person of your own word, you're a man of your word or a woman of your word, and you're saying those words and you say God's word, your words carry a lot of weight. If you don't even believe your own self, how will you believe when you're speaking on the same behalf of God? There's a difference between somebody who says, it is spoken, resist the devil, and he must flee. And they believe that those demons will flee. And someone just said, oh yeah, resist the devil and he must flee. Huge difference between the person who believes what they read or what they speak. If you're speaking the kingdom of God out of you, you're releasing the kingdom of God. How many people read the Bible? A lot of people read the Bible. My father-in-law used to read the Bible. How many people speak the Bible like it's power? Remember, Jesus said, the, they said about Jesus that he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. I'm going to tell you that scripture again one more time. It says, Jesus taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. They read the Bible all the time. They taught the Bible. They taught in Sunday school that Jesus taught it like it was his, like it belonged to him. That when he preached it, that word came out with power because it was his authority. Now, what about us? Well, before Jesus went to the cross, it says that he, he conferred upon us a kingdom. He conferred upon us a kingdom. He gave us the keys to what? To the kingdom. That's what it says. Jesus said, all authority and power in heaven and earth has been given unto me. Remember when Jesus rose from the dead? That's what he said. All authority and power has been given unto me. Who did, it, who, did, who did death belong to and authority on earth belong to before? Satan. He said, because it has been given unto me. Who gave it to him? Adam. When Adam sinned and disobeyed God, who had it before Adam? God. God gave it to Adam. He said, let's give man dominion upon the whole earth and every creeping thing. And then what happened? Adam rebelled against God's kingdom, was driven outside of God's kingdom. Now it belonged to Satan. But Jesus bought back the keys of life and death and sin and destruction and the authority over all the earth and he gives it unto man satan may try and say hey it's mine but remember we have now the power to tread on scorpions we have the power to walk in the authority now we do need to walk in alignment with the authority so please be careful about going into places that god has not called you but where he has called you he has given you the kingdom he has given you the authority it belongs to you it's the power of the living god hallelujah and uh, I think, oops, I think we're just going to stop there for today. But I did want to share with you just a little bit of this, of how God said the kingdom is within you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for this day. And I thank you, Lord, for so much of your, your spirit, Lord. I thank you that you spend time with us every single day and that you love us. And I pray that you would just make it so that everyone is able to uh, have a personal relationship with you. Not a religion, Lord, but let them have a relationship with you. Be alive to them, Lord. Be living to them. Be strong. Be active to them. Set them apart. Make them, in, uh, and make them as a godly people and a godly nation. Make them as people that will depend on you, but also carry your power and your authority. Because you said, I'm going to the, sit at the right hand of my Father, but I'm going to pour out my Spirit upon the earth. And upon my manservants and my maidservants, all men and women, you will pour out your spirit upon them, on all flesh. Now, Lord, pour out your spirit upon us. Continue to pour out your spirit upon them, Lord, that we can continue to do the works of God all the way up until your final coming, Lord. I pray that we are able to walk with you every step of the way. And I pray that we would be with you and always find you, Lord, where you, may, where you are, may we be found. May we carry that authority. May we carry your spirit. May it, when we speak, may it be like coming from the king himself. That when we speak the provision of God, we know it, we believe it, as if it came from the king himself. For the promises of God, the Bible says the promises of God are yes and amen.
Let it be so, Lord. Let it be so that when we speak, it will be, yes, it's done. That when we ask, Lord, for a piece of bread, you give us the bread. You don't give us the rock. You don't give us a snake, as the Bible says. But you said, how much more, your heavenly Father, who will give good things to those who ask him. Lord, let us ask you, but believing that it will be done like it's a kingdom. Sometimes we ask, but don't believe you can do it. In our heart of hearts, we believe that our prayers won't be answered. And you said, according to your faith, let it be done unto you. Let it not be so, Lord Jesus, that according uh, that our faith would waver in such a ways, but let it be so that according to our faith, it would be done unto us. So we thank you, Lord, that you are victorious and that you are powerful and that you have made a way for us to experience your kingdom while we are still alive. We don't have to wait till we go to heaven to experience uh, these kinds of things, but we will experience them while we are alive. Hallelujah. We praise you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. And uh, for those who have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I challenge you to uh, say a prayer to ask him into your heart. Ask him into your life and to repent of your sins. Ask him, Lord, forgive me. Because the Bible says the soul who sin will die. And if we die outside of Christ, we are subject to hell. But the Bible tells us that all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Repent of your sins and turn to him. And he will turn to you and forgive you of your sins. The Bible says, if we are faithful and just to confess our sins, he will forgive us. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us. And help me to forgive those I need to forgive. Help me to let them go, Lord. Help me to forgive all those who did me wrong. And help me to forgive them, Lord. Help me not to carry these burdens, but to submit them to you every time the pain comes up, Lord. Help me to give them to you. Help me to be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove but also forgiving and loving. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. Uh, team, we're going to have our, our class. To, uh, sorry, we're going to have Bible study tomorrow. If you guys want to join me for Bible study tomorrow, it's at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I love you guys. And uh, let's cue the outro music. I'll be back for a little bit of fellowship. And then I'll leave to take Red Volt for his potty. Uh, I love you guys. Let's see you in just a second. Let's cue the outro music.